I started making F1 content three years ago. Like, I mean exactly three years ago. And the first video that I made on this channel was my thoughts on Formula One as a brand new fan. So to celebrate three years of being an F1 fan and an F1 creator, let's see if and how much my views have changed about Formula One. So I've pretty much decided to use the same questions that I had in that video while I was sprinkling in some extra ones. And before we get into the video, I want you guys to leave a comment. Let me know how long you've been a Formula One fan for. Now let's find out what my thoughts are on Formula One three years later. So for the first question, what do I think about Formula One as a sport overall? So when it comes to Formula One, I'm still just as interested, if not more interested in Formula One than I was three years ago. However, unlike three years ago, I can see the glaring issues within Formula One now. For example, the FIA knowing just about as much about their own rules as well i do seriously i feel like f1 has had a lot of issues with being consistent with their rules and i think the main fix for this moving forward is just to simply be more clear about certain rules and what situations can trigger those rules a big example of that is literally max verstappen less than a week ago he's just become a two-time world champion however because of the uncertainty of the rules in such and situations he didn't even know he was world champion until he was clarified on it like four different times but, I, is there a world champion? but i'm not sure. <laughs> what but i'm not no you are. i am yes you are you sure yes. <laughs> Don't get me wrong though, overall, I still love Formula 1 as a sport and when it comes to motorsports, it's still the motorsport that I actively engage in the most. Next up, who is my favourite constructor slash driver? Now, the answer to this question hasn't changed a bit. I would usually say Aston Martin just because well i like aston martin cars growing up but i don't really support one team over the other and it's the same with the drivers actually as well however i don't want to really cop out with my answer this time i actually want to give you guys a proper answer so if i'm definitively to say which constructor and driver i like the most i'm gonna have to go with the pairing of mclaren and Lando Norris. Now my reasoning for that is because I really like what McLaren and Lando himself with Quadrant and stuff are doing on the content scene. Though I've noticed that Red Bull have been starting up their own content creation team and they're sort of getting into the whole space. So maybe my opinion might change in another three years time. For the third question, do I think that the grid is fair? No, I don't. But as much as I would personally love to see equal cars in Formula 1, there doesn't need to be, so it is what it is. Next up, what are my favorite tracks in Formula One? In general, in real life, my three favorite tracks that Formula One has raced at since I've been a fan definitely got to be Hockenheim, Istanbul, and Silverstone. However, if we're talking just the F122 game, China is my favorite track on that game, with Australia being a close second. Question five, what do I think about the 2021 season finale? All right, so we've got a controversial question here. What is my opinion on the 2021 finale? Well, personally, I think that Lewis Hamilton should be an eight time world champion, as I feel that he was the better driver on the day. However, it doesn't take away from Max Verstappen. I think that Max Verstappen deserved that championship over the course of the whole season, just as much, if not more, than Lewis Hamilton. I just wish that the season had ended with the rules being more clear and executed properly. Either way though, we got an exciting championship that year. Question six, what's been my favorite season so far as a Formula One fan? For the drama, suspense, and just the overall racing, I've got to say, obviously, 2021 was the best season that I've watched so far. Uh, but when it comes to the tracks raced at, I've got to say, F1 2020 has some really good tracks in there, in my personal opinion. Next up, have I actually been to a Grand Prix yet? Sadly, no, I don't really have funds and the money to be able to go to one of those events. But other than Silverstone, which is obviously my home Grand Prix, so I'm going to want to go there. I would have to say that the Japanese Grand Prix is definitely a Grand Prix that I would love to attend in my life followed by a German GP if Hockenheim was to ever make a return into Formula 1. And for the final question, what is my top three liveries in Formula 1 since I started watching the sport? Okay, so we've got a little bit of a spicy question here, my three favourite liveries. I'm going to go ahead and say that at number three, I'm going to put Aston Martin's livery from 2022. In second, I'm actually going to put Ferrari's red and yellow livery that they've been using recently. I really like that one. And before we get into number one, I want to quickly give an honourable mention we didn't get to see it in real life but there was a picture floating around on twitter in the last week at the time of recording this of the white red bull livery from last year slapped onto this year's car 
and it looks beautiful. However, my favorite livery so far as a Formula One fan for me has to be the 2020 version of the black Mercedes. So those are some of my thoughts on Formula One three years later. Now I want you guys to click the video right here. YouTube thinks that you will enjoy this video next and they're usually pretty good at recommended videos. So go check it out and enjoy.